The demand for chips in the consumer electronics field continues to decline, but in the fields of smart cars, the Internet of Things, and artificial intelligence, there are still strong and growing demands. This has higher and higher requirements for the production capacity of mature chips. SMIC officially announced that the expansion of 8-inch wafers has basically been completed. In the second quarter of this year, the monthly production capacity of 8-inch wafers increased to 754,250 pieces. Not to be outdone, TSMC is accelerating shipments. SMIC is one of the leading semiconductor manufacturing companies in mainland China, and its chip manufacturing technology and chip production capacity are the strongest in the mainland. As China increases its support for the semiconductor industry, SMIC has become an important part of China's semiconductor industry. SMIC's production capacity and technical level have reached the world's leading level, and it competes fiercely with other semiconductor giants in the world, especially TSMC. It may not be able to compete with TSMC in terms of high-end chips, but in the mature chip market, with stronger demand, SMIC is not inferior to TSMC. Don't underestimate mature chips. In the mature chip market, chips that can provide lower power consumption will be more popular. Mature chips are used in a wide range of fields, such as automobiles, home appliances, and industrial equipment. The requirements of these products for chips are mainly stability, reliability, and long-term supply. Therefore, the demand for mature chips is relatively stable, and the market size is also large. The commercial prospect of SMIC's layout in the mature chip field is very broad. The growth of demand and its own grasp of mature chip manufacturing technology determine that SMIC can participate in the competition. One of the keys to the competition is production capacity. Only with sufficient production capacity can we hope to obtain more customer orders and complete rapid shipments. According to SMIC's survey, most of the 8-inch expansion has basically been completed. An 8-inch wafer can generally be divided into 200 chips. According to SMIC's second quarter financial report, the monthly production capacity of 8-inch wafers has increased to 754,250 pieces. According to this calculation, SMIC can produce 151 million chips per month using 8-inch wafers. In the first quarter, SMIC's 8-inch monthly production capacity was only 732,250 pieces, equivalent to a monthly production capacity of 146 million pieces. From this point of view, SMIC's production capacity increase is quite obvious. Of course, the specific chip production capacity will be affected by factors such as wafer yield rate, and there are certain differences, and the data are for reference only. But one thing can be confirmed. There is no problem for SMIC to master the production capacity of hundreds of millions of chips per month. This is only an 8-inch capacity, and if 12 inches are counted, the number of chips that can be cut will be even greater. Regarding the 8-inch, SMIC officially announced that the expansion has basically been completed, and for the 12-inch capacity layout, SMIC is also building 12-inch wafer factories in Shanghai, 
Beijing, Shenzhen, and Tianjin. It is expected that it will be put into stable mass production in the next few years, and SMIC's production capacity will double by then. With so much production capacity in hand, SMIC has an advantage in competing in the mature chip market. Not only can it meet the growing needs of customers and increase market share, but it can also further reduce unit costs and increase profit levels through continuous expansion of production scale, so as to maintain a competitive advantage. SMIC's market conditions are gradually improving. Those who follow industry trends know that demand for chips has been declining this year, and major chip giants have handed over disappointing financial reports. Either profits are declining, or revenues are plummeting, and SMIC's first quarter financial report is no exception. But in the second quarter, SMIC's revenue and profits all showed a quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth. Among them, the revenue was 1.56 billion US dollars, an increase of 5.7% compared with the first quarter, and the net profit was 400 million US dollars, an increase of 74.3% from the previous quarter. Such performance shows that SMIC is gradually getting out of the downturn in the chip market and gradually recovering its growth momentum. There can be a recovery in performance, which has a lot to do with the Chinese market. In the second quarter, SMIC's revenue from the Chinese market accounted for 79.6%, a significant increase compared with 75.5% in the first quarter. Revenue in the US declined from 19.6% in the first quarter to 17.6% in the second quarter. SMIC's market share in the Chinese market is gradually expanding, which is related to the rapid growth of the Chinese economy and the increase in demand in the domestic chip market. The country continues to reduce chip imports, and most of the mature chips can be satisfied domestically. The decline in SMIC's revenue in the United States also reflects the sluggish sales outlook in the US market, and more and more chip sales will be born in the Chinese market in the future. Therefore, TSMC will not miss this opportunity. TSMC has experienced thunderstorm financial reports for several consecutive quarters. The production and operation in the first half of the year are not good. If it cannot grasp the shipment opportunities in the Chinese market, life will be difficult. Therefore, TSMC's attitude is speed up shipments, provide more 7 nanometers chip production capacity to Ali Pingchu and ZTE Microelectronics, and the expansion plan at the Nanjing factory will continue. TSMC cannot do without the Chinese market. Whether it is indirectly relying on the US to sell chips to obtain orders from US companies, or directly cooperating with customers in mainland China, it needs to earn revenue in China, the world's largest chip consumer market. But with SMIC, TSMC is not so easy to get what it wants. Among other things, SMIC has made great progress in terms of mature chip production capacity. Before TSMC put more attention on high-end chips and tried its best to meet the needs of American customers, but now it wants to win mature chip orders from Chinese customers, it depends on whether TSMC has this ability.